Okay, so we are starting our next unit and it's gonna actually feel really different um, than anything else we've done in chem so far this year. There's not really much math, um, but we're finally hopefully gonna fill in some of the reasons why behind different things we've been just telling you are true all year. And so where that starts is taking a closer look at the periodic table, um, at why it's arranged this way and other things we can glean from it. So a little bit of vocab just to start. When we're looking at the periodic table, where something is on it tells us a lot about that element. Um, what row it's in, what column it's in, that all matters. But there's some formal language. So when we're looking at the rows, when we're looking at going across a periodic table, right? The first row has hydrogen and helium. The second row, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, et cetera. Those rows we actually call Sorry, those rows we actually call periods. So I could say magnesium is in period three. It's in the third row from the top. Um, I could say tin. I still count, this is row, period one, period two, three, four, five. Tin is in period five. Then we also can label things based on what column they're in. Um, the columns up and down, if you forget the difference between column and a row, think about a column that holds a building up, it goes up and down. Um, the columns we call groups. And actually we don't count just from left to right. Um, we'd say everything in this is column one, in that is column two, sorry, group one, group two, we actually, there are different approved naming systems. We actually, the one we're gonna use, skip the middle. And we'd say that the column with boron in it, we would call that group three. Group four, group five, group six, group seven, group eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how we're gonna label our groups. Some of those groups have names other than just a number, other than just group one, group two, that we want you to know. So looking at groups one, two, seven, and eight, those are the ones we want you to know the names of. Group one, we call the alkali metals. Group two is similar, but slightly different. We call the alkaline earth metals. Group seven, we call the halogens. Group eight, we call the noble gases. Those periods and groups actually tell us a lot about the structure of an atom. So let's look at, for example, bromine. Bromine is in period, if we wanna count, it's in period one, two, three, four. So yeah, we're in period four and it's in group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, group seven. Bromine's in period four, group seven. Now let's take a look at what a bromine, oops, what a bromine atom would look like. Um, and it's not a coincidence that there are one, two, three, four rings or shells or energy levels in a bromine atom. So the nucleus is that red and blue ball at the center, but four shells around it, it's in period four. That's not a coincidence. The period will actually also tell us the number of shells. Um, in the video, the Ed Puzzle, you probably saw, it's also the number of energy levels, same thing. What the group tells us, group column one, it was in the seventh column, the group actually tells us the number of valence electrons. So valence electrons were those electrons in the outermost shell. We care about them because those are the ones that actually react. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And bromine was in the seventh group. Um, so the group will also tell us the number of valence electrons. You don't have to actually draw it out. You just have to know what group something is in and then all automatically, you know the number of valence electrons. So I, I wrote electrons there just as an E with a minus sign. So looking just at one more, I could say, for example, how many valence electrons does magnesium have? Looking at the fact that magnesium is in 
group two, it's in the second column, right away, I know it has two valence electrons. I could also ask you, for instance, what alkaline earth metal is in period four. So alkaline earth metal tells me that we are dealing with group two. And period four tells me we're dealing with the fourth row. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Calcium would be the alkaline earth metal that is in period four. Try a couple. 